In this video, I'll explain how to repeat a character string n times using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the character string that we can create with line two of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new character string object is appearing, which is called my string. And we can print this character string to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom that our character string contains the characters A, B, C. Now, if we want to repeat this character string and concatenate the character string, then we can apply the strewrap function as you can see in line five of the code. So within this function, we need to specify the name of our character string object. So in this case, our character string is called my string. And then we need to specify how often we want to repeat this character string. So if you run line five of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have returned a new character string. And please note that our input character string has been concatenated to a longer character string with a larger length. Now, if we want to create a vector object containing our character string multiple times, then we can apply the rep function as you can see in line seven of the code. So within the rep function, we also need to specify our string and the number of times we want to repeat our string. So if you run line seven of the code, you can see that another output is returned at the bottom in the RStudio console. And this time we have returned a character string vector, which contains our input character string five times in different vector elements. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.